We're gonna teach you how to hold and release the shot properly, and we're gonna start right now. It's track season and shot putters are asking us a ton of different questions. How should we be holding the shot? How should we be releasing the shot? We're having problems at the finish. And so we're gonna go right into it. We wanna look at how should that shot be sitting on our hand. And so right away, we wanna look at, okay, if we have this bridge, okay, we have the bridge in our fingers. Okay, we wanna use that thumb as support. So we wanna make sure that the shot is gonna sit a little bit on the palm, but ideally, we will have that hand almost entirely focus on pushing into the bridge and pushing the bridge and then our fingers behind the ball. I prefer to have the shot instead of having our hands all spread out, but to have the fingers actually together. I think that that creates a little bit more of a stretch shortening cycle. Now, when we get set, we wanna think about pushing into our neck, okay? We actually want to think about keeping the thumb under the ball pushing into our neck. This is gonna help keep that elbow high. A lot of people, now we're talking about rotational shot putters in this instance, a lot of people tend to drop their elbow and then as they're rotating, they'll come under the shot. And so that's an error as far as release is concerned. We wanna see this shot come forward, okay? And we wanna see the thumb stay down and the elbow stay out. And then what will end up happening is that we'll get to this finish, we'll hit that fingers off, okay? Remember, we want a little bit of a stretch shortening cycle. We've got stretch, shorten, okay? That's gonna help get a little bit more hit on the finish. And if you have a good hit on the finish off of your hand, that could add a foot and a half to two feet, okay? So we need to understand we want that thumb underneath the ball. We want it pushing right behind the ear, right around here. Some people will hold it a little bit further back. Some people will hold it a little bit further forward if they were a glider in the past. I'm thinking about Leif Arrhenius back in the day. Our own Taman Johnson tends to hold it a little bit further back, but then does roll it forward. So we can look at different positions and try to feel it out. But the ultimate goal is to have the thumb under the ball, okay? Have our fingers together have it sitting on that bridge. Okay, if we're pushing into the neck, that's gonna help light up our triceps and a little bit of our medial delts. And then that's gonna lead to this finish where we want the thumb to stay down and the elbow to stay out. And that will take us into some of those errors, okay? Some errors that we'll see is that as the shot is coming out, someone will bail their head really hard, they'll spiral that elbow down and pull away a little bit. There are some world-class throwers who have had decent throws with the elbow dropping, but it's still not optimal. We don't wanna actually focus on that. We wanna make sure that we're focusing on that high right elbow, staying on the shot, keeping the thumb down. So we wanna see that thumb stay under. We come forward, it's sitting on the bridge here. We're not palming it, we're not dropping, we're not hitting it here. We wanna see that elbow stay high, thumb down, thumb down, elbow out, thumb down, elbow out, thumb down, elbow out. Get that big hit off the fingers, okay? Big hit off the fingers as we're moving forward. It's simple, the big keys. Thumb down, elbow out. Now, muscles, what are we thinking about with muscles? What muscles are going to play a major role with one, the isometric action when we're pushing it into our neck? Two, when we're actually rotating and finishing forward. And then three, when it's coming off of our hand, okay? And I think that that's some key aspects that we can look at is, first of all, we know that the triceps are responsible for forearm extension, okay? We know that 100%. So the triceps, the long head, the medial, the lateral head are gonna play a major role. One big aspect is that when we drop the elbow, we actually diminish a little bit of our motor unit recruitment in all three heads of the triceps. Okay, so we've got to think about that. Two, if we're dropping the elbow, there will be a lack of a co-contraction in our shoulder joint. We're actually starting to lose a little bit of our recruitment and stability provided by our deltoid. That's another big factor. And then three, we're actually gonna lose a little bit of the pec. If we're losing the elbow here, we'll lose a little bit of the pec action and we'll lose a little bit of the deltoid action and we'll lose a little bit of the tricep action. And very likely we will also lose that stretch shortening cycle off of the fingers. Okay, so the muscles that we're gonna be focusing on are gonna be the pecs, the deltoids, and the triceps, and of course, that forearm on that final hip position. But we need to make sure that we're in that good position with the shot in our neck and the shot on the bridge, 
so that we can optimize that overall performance and recruitment of those said muscles. So what are some unique fixes? Okay, there's a couple simple fixes. The first one is gonna be just walking around here, holding that shot, jamming it into your neck, and just simply going here, okay? Focusing on nice, easy pushing. And I just threw the shot down into the cargo area. <laughs> so the first thing is just simple hits, okay? Real simple hits. Second big aspect, and you can still see guys like Joe Kovacs, Tom Walsh do this when they're warming up. They'll sit there and they'll flick for height and catch and try to feel that shoulder and the elbow warming up the forearm flexors. That third big fix could be just hammering the shot into the ground. So we want to have that elbow out, that thumb down, elbow out, thumb down, elbow out, thumb down. Stretch shortening cycle here, boom, okay, boom, boom. And if we see someone like Joe Kovacs, Tom Walsh, even Krauser, boom, boom. Boom, they're warming up. They're feeling that good release position. It's important. These are the guys that are the best of all time. And they're still doing these basic things to focus on that release because they know they can get about a half meter out of that good hit. Now, if you're still struggling with that release position, okay, so you went through just doing easy stands here, just walking through the sector and hitting it. You're doing shot throws for height. You're hitting the ground and trying to keep that elbow out and the thumb down and you're still struggling. There's a couple big factors that I like to bring into play. That first one is gonna be an easy banded stand. And I like to use our power elastics. This is a garage strength power elastic. And we can go around our back here. Okay, and remember, all I'm trying to show you here is what that should feel like. I wanna think about when I'm holding this in my neck, we have the medial delt, the anterior delt, a little bit of bicep action and pec action. Tricep action for isometric holding. And then we wanna light up those fingers, the flexor digitorum as we're pushing that into the neck. Those are the muscles that we're thinking about. So we need to actually train them in slow manners. Okay, so we can use something like a contrast method where we're doing a side delt raise here so that we're feeling that medial delt and we're understanding what that feels like as we put it into our neck. And then you pick up the band. So let's say you do a set of 10 easy side delt raises and then you can pick up the band. Use this to get on the, the hit on the fingers. Okay, I like to put it behind my back here. Now I'm gonna feel that delt. I'm gonna feel the triceps. I'm gonna feel those forearm extensors and flexors, okay? And we're just gonna work on extending with the thumb down, extending with the thumb down, extending with the thumb down. If my elbow drops, my thumb's no longer down. So that cue of the thumb down will help focus on the triceps. It'll help focus on what our hand position is gonna be doing and even focus on the deltoids. If our deltoid is active, this stabilizes the joint more. If it stabilizes the joint, now we can produce more force from that joint if the joint is not stable we lose force that's simple it's a co-contraction it's a skill we have to learn but using some simple contrast methods where we're doing side delt raises and then we're doing simple presses here that's going to help us feel that position at a slower speed and then we can gradually start to build up that speed now one other unique fix using this sweet bodybuilding handle and what i'm going to tell you has never been discussed in the world of shot putting, okay? At least as far as I've seen on all platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, wherever, I have not seen this, okay? But this is something that I really, really like to use, is that if we have a cable machine, we can do tricep push downs with this here, okay? And what I like to do is push here, because that's gonna light up those triceps the way we wanna feel on the hit. Now, I like doing typical cable tricep pushdowns. That's a great exercise. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying that if you have that problem of dropping the elbow, use this handle. The next key aspect would be if I would set up this feeling here, okay? I'm here, boom, boom, boom. A position that will feel similar with this handle is actually a lean away tricep extension. My chest will be down. It won't exactly mimic the finish of the throw, but it will target my deltoids and my triceps. And I would actually want the cable behind me, and I'm gonna be here, come forward and extend. Come forward and extend. And so you could take a high school kid or a middle school kid who struggles to feel that, get them on the cable machine with a lightweight, put this attachment here, and force them to take this from back behind their head come forward and extend, okay? Come forward and extend. And then they can use that 
with the band or they could use that with easy throws afterwards as a contrast method and improve that release. But everything comes back to how's the shot sitting on your hand? What muscles are we trying to target? Deltoids play a major role in the co-contraction, pecs, triceps, forearms, you know, that's springing this off the hand. That's even something that can be trained if you guys want something around that forearm. Let me know in the comment section. We'll go into that a little bit deeper. And then finally, what exercises can we use? Walking around the sector, trying to hit it, throwing for height, throwing into the ground, using the band for that contrast method, using side delt raises, and then using that cable press to help you feel those different positions. These are all things that you can implement into your training to improve your overall shot release. If you guys need help with your training, head over to throwsuniversity.com. You can pick up a throws-based program, strength training focus, or a technical analysis to help you guys drop some bombs. Until next time, peace.